Hey, if my eyes were made of eyes, I would have a compound eye, and this is E.S. Einsteinium. Let's talk sight. Light leaves your screen and enters your eye. Your brain then interprets an image of this, and then you can see. But if the light from your screen is going in separate directions, what is your eye doing to focus it on your retina? The eye has many different parts. First, let's talk about the iris. The iris is a thin, circular structure in the eye which controls how much light can enter your eye. They do this by changing the diameter of the pupil, and by effect, the amount of light reaching the retina. This protects the retina from damage from intense light. The colour of the iris is determined by how much melanin is in your iris, and how much light is reflected by a stroma of iris. The stroma of iris contains pigment granules that give it colour. The more pigment you have, the darker colour your eyes are. If you have blue eyes, you have little pigment. Before, I mentioned pupils and retina. The pupil is the hole in the iris which lets the light through. Your retina is what detects the light. It's made up of rods and cones. Rods are good at seeing in dim conditions, but they cannot see colour, which is why when it gets darker, all your surroundings seem to go into grayscale. The cones are good at sensing light in bright conditions and in colour. As the light hits your rods and cones, they let off chemical and electrical signals, which ultimately trigger nerve impulses through the optic nerve. The optic nerve is simply the nerve that attaches your eye to your brain and transports the signals to various visual centres. Going back to that protection point in the iris, the eye has more protection in all features. For example, you can't stick a pin into your pupil because there's the cornea in the way. Your cornea shields your eye from germs, dust and other harmful matter. It is a transparent layer over the top of your eye which protects the delicate parts inside. It also, with the lens, refracts the light and contributes about two-thirds of total optic power. The lens is a biconvex structure. Biconvex means both sides curve away from the centre, whereas a biconcave lens means that both sides curve towards the centre. The lens's job is to refract light towards the retina and make it focus at the right point. It uses the ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments to change its shape to focus different variations of light. For example, something that is far away has almost parallel light rays, so the lens is pulled tight, which causes less refraction. But if the object is close, it requires a fatter lens so it can refract more. Problems with sight occur here. For example, an eyeball that is too short, or when the lens isn't pulled enough, which means it has the wrong shape. Both of these cause the light to focus on a point past the retina, causing a blurry image. This is long-sighted. For short-sighted people, it's a similar problem with the lens, but it is being pulled too much and then is the wrong shape. But it can also be that the eyeball is too long. This causes the light to focus on a point in front of the eye. These can be fixed with a trip to the opticians for some glasses. Thinking of the idea of distance, how do we judge distance? This is where the two eyes come into play. The brain takes both images from the eyes and compares them. The more similarities between the images, the further away they are. This is because when an object is closer, one eye can see an image, for example a square, but the other eye can see round the side of this square, due to the distance between our two eyes, and actually see that it's a cube. With a far away object, it sees less differences between the two images. The downside to this is that we have a very narrow field of vision, unlike these animals who have almost 360 degrees vision. Well, that is the eye. Hit like if you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe for more videos, I'm the Eccentric Scientist signing off, bye!